The simplest example of a two-body system is where both objects are on a horizontal plane. And here we can see that we have a 15 kilogram object that has a coefficient of kinetic friction of 0 0.4, a 10 kilogram object that has a coefficient of kinetic friction of 0.35, and an applied force of 95 newtons being applied to the left on the 15 kilogram object. And we are asked to calculate the acceleration and the tension, uh, the acceleration of the system and the tension in this rope over here. Now, there is a set format to follow when answering a two-body system. The first part of this is always to start by drawing a free-body diagram for each object. So for the 15-kilogram object, we can show that there is a force of gravity that is acting downward on this object. There is a normal force acting vertically upward on this object. There is a tension force acting backward or to the right on this object and then there, there is the applied force that is pulling this object to the left. We have been told that there's a coefficient of friction which means that there's also a frictional force and then we can do the same for our 10 kilogram object where we can say that there is a force of gravity acting downward on this object, there is a normal force acting upward, there is a frictional force acting backwards and a tension force pulling this to the left. We can then also see that since our force of gravity and the normal force for each of these objects are the only two forces acting in the vertical plane, that that would mean in this case that the normal force is equal but opposite to the force of gravity. So for the 15 kilogram object, that is 147 newtons. And for the 10 kilogram object, that is 98 newtons for both of those forces. We can then calculate immediately the frictional force for each of these, where the friction force is equal to the coefficient times the normal force. And for the 15 kilogram object, that is a coefficient of 0 0.4 multiplied by the normal force of 147, which tells us then that we have a frictional force of 58.8 newtons acting on the 15 kilogram object and a frictional force of also a coefficient times the normal force. Now these are two different objects, which explains why they would have different coefficients of friction, because that is about the relationship between those two surfaces multiplied by the normal force, which we calculated was 98. And so the friction force acting on this object is 34.3 Newtons. That is the first step. The first step in any two body system would be to calculate the to draw a free body diagram for each object and calculate any unknown forces that there may be. The next step is to, for each object, write a Newton's second law expression. So for the 15 kilogram object, that would be F net is equal to M times A, where the net force is all of the forces acting to the left, there's only one of them, the applied force, minus all of the forces acting to the right or in the opposite direction, those being tension, and friction equal again to mass times the acceleration. The applied force was given to us as 95 newtons. The tension is an unknown here and friction we have just calculated is 58.8 newtons. The mass of the object given as 15 kilograms and the acceleration once again unknown. This can be simplified to write as T is then equal to 36.2 minus 15a. We can then do the same for our second object, the 10 kilogram object, always starting with Newton's second law, F net is equal to M times A. For this object, there's only one force acting to the left, that is the tension force, and there's only one force acting to the right, that being a friction force equal to M times A. Tension, once again, the unknown friction calculated as 34.2 three newtons and the mass given as 10 acceleration once again unknown which can be simplified into t is equal to 10 a plus 34.3 now what we need to remember in any free body diagram is that since this is the same rope in any two body system since this is the same rope these two tension expressions that we have here 
must be equal to each other. So we can say, therefore, that 36.2 minus 15a must be equal to 10a plus 34.3. We can then solve to find that our acceleration is 0 0.084 meters per square second. And that is to the left. Don't forget that acceleration is a vector. And then once we have an acceleration, we can substitute that value into either one of our two expressions to calculate the tension. And we can say, therefore, that tension is equal to 36.2 minus 15 times that acceleration that we've just calculated, 0 0.084, to find that the tension in this rope is then 34.94 newtons. We are normally asked for the magnitude of the tension because that tension force acts in two directions depending on which object we are referring to. And so we see that by following the same procedure, every time we get a two body system, start by drawing a free body diagram for each object. Once we have done that, calculate any unknown forces, the frictional force, the coefficients, the components if necessary, and then write a Newton second law expression for each object. These two must be treated as two separate objects and then solve to find one of your unknowns. And once you have the one unknown, you can find the other unknown.